Hello YouTube, I'm back with another video and this time it's going to be on the Sansevieria aka snake plant or mother-in-law's tongue. Um, a couple of things I want to mention, um, I'm having um, kind of an issue with my iPad right now so I have to record from my phone so sorry if the quality is a little off and I am filming in front of a window so I'm getting all natural light here. And it's kind of a cloudy day where I'm at. So the sun is like going in and out. So if the lightning goes bright, dark, you know, you know the cost of that. And I also apologize for any outside noises because I am by a window and I do have a three-year-old daughter um, that's having a ball in her room. So um, moving right along. Now this, like I said, is a Sansevieria, a.k.a. snake plant. Um... It's a very hardy plant, very, very easy to grow. And in my opinion, it's easier than a spider plant. And, you know, I have about three spider plants in here. I love those plants, but these plants, in my opinion, are a little easier to grow. Now, that's saying a lot because the spider plant is nothing to it, really. Um, these are very hardy, as I mentioned. Um, a great, a couple of great things. Um, about this plant, well, more than a couple, but um, this plant made NASA's list for one of the top plants to clean the air. Um, a lot of people don't know that formaldehyde is found in a lot of carpets, so this plant, um, that's one of the, just one of the toxins that it do clean, um, and of course produces um, clean air for us, you know, that's you know, around us, so it's easier for us to breathe, which is, of course, beneficial to our health. So you definitely will want to um, invest in one of these babies because that's a great, great um, qual uh, quality uh, benefit uh, that you will get if you purchase one of these plants. Um, that, and they are very inexpensive. Um, of course, it depends on what size you get. Now, this one... I got at Walmart for about $2.97, so that's not bad at all, and I'm going to kind of focus in here, right there, I have a little baby, well, my camera is not going to focus right now, there, I have a little baby popping up already, and all kind of new growth, these two, and then one in there, so very very um hardy and easy to grow plants um kind of focus again here sorry this is just going in and out of focus um now this um is a low light plant um but i always try to stress low light doesn't mean no light always always give your plants some type of light um it's just, uh, I mean, I, I don't want to put it to the test, but um, I highly doubt if this plant could even survive in no light. Um, so just always try to give your plant some type of light. Um, I'm recording in a different um, room, but this plant is mainly in my living room. And it, I have huge windows all around my apartment. Let me kind of, I don't know if you could focus on but these huge windows are all around my apartment right now. Um, and I have two in my bedroom, one in my daughter's room, and two in my living room. So we get great, great natural light. So this plant is always in front of the window that's in the living room. But it gets filtered um, sunlight 99.99% um, .99 of the time. And that one little percentage I will put it in um for sunlight for about a couple of hours most won't recommend that and it's kind of understandable because you can you know the leaves can burn if you leave it in um for sunlight too long um I haven't had that issue with um neither one of my spider plants because this is actually my second spider plant I keep saying spider plant. I'm sorry, snake plant. Um, my first one I will show you in a little bit. I, it was actually a birthday gift um, to me, and that one was a little more expensive. Um, not crazy expensive, but um, it was a little bigger. 
than um, this one right here, and it has grown. I had it since August, and it's October. No, I'm sorry, now it's November, November 1st, and I've had it for since um, August, my first plant, um, and I will show you that in a bit, and it's grown a lot. Um, so I haven't had any problem with um, the um, waxy filling leaves burning because I only give it like a couple of hours of um, sunlight, direct sunlight. Um, and you also want to make sure you use a free draining soil uh, with this plant. Um, I, this is actually the Miracle Grow soil. Um, and I'm actually testing out another soil, which I think I'm going to like um, better than the Miracle Grow soil. And it's, I believe it's pronounced back toe. I'm not really sure, but it's B A C C T O. And that soil actually feels lighter than the Miracle Grow soil, and it seems to drain better. So once I finish testing or comparing those two, I will do a video in the future, and I would gladly make that switch if the other soil um, proves to be better than a Miracle Grow soil. And a lot of people make their own mixture, and I have yet to do that. So I can't give you any um, advice on that, um, to be honest. Um, let me see. This is a native to tropical and subtropical areas. So it's around, I believe, 70 species, if I'm not mistaken. And it is considered an evergreen. So it can grow anywhere between, I'm going to say, about 8 inches to 12 feet. Um, I've seen these monster snake plants. I mean, huge. And they do grow upright, as you can see. So they can get top heavy. So you have to keep an eye out on that. And they are known to crack pots because the roots are so thick. And that's um, when the water, you know, is stored. That's why they can go so long without watering um, because the roots are so thick. Um my first um, snake plant, um, I went almost three weeks without watering it. I watered it well. It did not have to water it again to about, like I said, almost three weeks. I believe it was like two and a half. But so just just don't overwater these babies because they, they hold water very well. Because like I said, the root system is so thick. Um, so just be mindful of that and never, ever, ever, ever overpot. Um, I put, I actually tested it out just to see, and what I found out is that, um, if you overpot these plants, um, you can't overwater it, because the, the soil stays, excuse me, the soil stays moist a lot longer, so if you're not careful, and you're not checking that soil thoroughly, and you keep watering it, you can overwater this plot, I mean, I'm sorry, this plant, and you can give a root rod and it can kill your plant if not corrected. Um, they're very forgiving, so if you make a mistake with this plant, you could easily correct it if you take the time to just, you know, pay attention to your plant. Um, not too much attention, though, but pay enough attention to it and it will tell you clear signs that it's not happy. So make the adjustments and it will forgive you if you catch it um, on time. Um, another thing I like to do is, um, like I said, I this is, sits in front of um, a window so it gets filtered sunlight. I like to kind of every week or week and a half, I like to turn it. So, of course, one week, and this is easier to kind of keep track of because of the little baby. One week, it could be facing this way, and then another week, I would turn it this way just so the plant could get, you know, equal light, you know, so it's not kind of leaning towards the sun. Cause I had seen some plants, not this particular plant, kind of do that, like fighting for sun. So it leans to the sun. So just make sure you rotate it every once and again. So the plant, all of the plant get, get, um, equal amounts of sunlight. Um, let me see what else. And hopefully I mentioned that this was an evergreen. If I didn't, it is an evergreen. So um, 
Another thing is that this plant likes um, temperatures between 40 and about 85 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So keep that in mind. Um, I believe it can take lower and higher temperatures um, for a short period of time. But to be honest, I don't want to, I just don't believe in putting unnecessary stress on a plant. So I keep it between those temperatures and it, it's doing fine. Um, like I mentioned before that this is a plant that uh, is great for cleaning the air. So um, one thing you will notice is that the plant will get dusty. Like I actually have to um, wipe this off. Um, but to do that, um, just take a microfiber cloth. Well, that's what I use anyway. So I recommend it to you um, and damp it. And just clean the foliage. Just clean that dust off because it's going to help the plant to breathe. Um, because they do clean the air so it will get dusty. Um, another thing that is so, so, so important. The, as tough as this plant is, plant of steel and all that other good stuff. When you clean in the foliage, the leaves, um, the leaves are even waxy and tough. Um, just remember that... If you break off a tip, that particular leaf will not grow any longer. That's the only um, weakness, I should say, that this plant have. And if you take notice, see that tip right there on a new growth? If you break it off like this, like this tip right here, I mean, this tip, this leaf right here will not grow any longer. Um, and I believe... This one would not grow any longer, but that's okay. I, I was fine with that. I noticed that when I brought the plant, but I know how to grow the, these plants very well. Um, so I was fine with, you know, a couple of tips, not um, a couple of leaves. I'm sorry, not growing anymore because, like I said, as you can see, it's new growth um, popping up. So that, that wasn't really an issue um, for me, but just please be mindful of that. Of that. Just kind of keep this plant somewhere where no one's brushing up against the tips because once again if it break off like these um it will it will not grow anymore so just thought i kind of bring you know mention that um i have yet to um do any cuttings on my plant um even though i want to um eventually uh do it but i'm gonna let my plants get it a little longer um before i do that but um, if you do want to cut the plant, just simply, um, whatever leaf you choose, cut. I mean, of course, cut it off, but cut. And remember to plant the cuttings. Remember which side is the downside. Always plant the downside in the soil because if you don't, it will not root. It, it, it won't do nothing. It will just die off. So just remember that. Or you could just take it out the soil, divide the plant boom, stick it in some fresh um, soil when you divide it, and it should root without a problem. Um, let me see. I hope I'm not leaving anything out. Um, no, I don't think I'm leaving anything out other than when you go to a store. Like I said, I know how to grow these plants very well, so I wasn't too concerned, but just always try to get um, the healthiest plant that you could find. Um, so that's my second spider plant snake plant jeez that's my second snake plant so this i was now i'm going to show you my very first snake plant this is my very first snake plant and this baby is growing and just i purposely cut this oops i purposely cut this tip right here because that is going to be one of the leaves that more than likely i'm going to take cuttings from but Look how long the tips can get. That's why you have to be very careful. Very careful. But compare. <laughs> compare the sizes of these two. Now this is my baby. This is my first snake plant. Um, that I got for my birthday. And it's growing very, very well. Um, I don't believe I left anything out. But if you have any questions whatsoever... 
about these plants, feel free to leave a comment and I will get back to you and answer any questions you may have. So always remember to do your part and keep this earth green. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.